Hello, I'm Marcello Rolando, The Reasonable Voice, thanking you for joining us and becoming one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. May Day, May Day, Dancing in the Streets. August 9th, 2014, Ferguson, Missouri. N-word, shot by cop, left on ground, dead. I.D., Michael Brown. Early morning, April 12th, 2015, 26-year-old Freddie Gray made eye contact with the Baltimore police on West Side. A week later, on sheeted hospital bed, died. After a rough ride. Somewhere between brown and gray, white discovers what black always knew about some blue. Yellow journalism and red politicians scrambling to comprehend new reality juggle incline, tap dancing for right position. Pink Union mouthpiece holds the old gray line. Now, somehow, the Christian thing to do is to become pragmatic as the Jew, for after being exterminated by the millions, you grasp as night follows the day, militarize force enforcing community curfew, in a moment can snatch life's breath away. What if love thy neighbor as thyself, rather than creating martyrs with bullets penetrating flesh, by the thousands we march silently through every city, not like Sherman to the sea, but softening as we go scotus marriage hearts, changing minds with massive stand by me, reaping what we sow, twice we've overwhelmed Wall Street elections dough. Alas, tis not the rioters for media show that direct in which direction we must go. Though, if it bleeds, ratings is their motivation, our smartphones now lift our voices in equal augmentation. Thus we stand like Lady Liberty in contemplation, ignited by total information, on pedestal for all to see, if only we know our complete history. Despite fear and the seeds of hate blooming still in our nation, we can embrace all, regardless of gender, political, or sexual persuasion. Now pressing hard upon us as a choice, trusting in we the people, we overcome paid k Street puppets puppeteering to keep us feeble. No president not on the money can be solo perfect solution, for as long as we march off to war to fill the coffers of those too big to jail for restitution, we'll continue to brew a tea-stained fault line as earth destroyers electing to take us back again to Guantanamo's waterboarding shame. But we're not here to fill in the Jersey Bridge gang hollow, but to refrain from political POVs which, once out from the shadows and at the keel, seek to supplant our roots and unravel what was once our New Deal. Choosing to ignore voter ID as Jim Crow epilogue, we forget White's only derision is not past but prologue. It's what separate but equal bequeaths our present prejudice and future decision. Yet, unlike women on the battlefields of minimum wage, constitutional inequality, domestic violence, and campus rape, no Wall Street banker was ever forced to abuse the public trust as 17th Amendment reversing governors running our coke states do. Now, ours is not to reason why, but ours is surely to reason. For right or left, this is our story, front and center. Why have we only just noticed more people of color are shot by good and bad men and women with one thing in common? Wayne Lapierre's bottom line. Why do we argue over who's responsible for climate change and the Great Recession instead of pooling our diversity for universal solutions? How do we elect common sense and human decency? When will we turn off media talking heads and turn out politicians offering only talking points? Why do we allow Madison Avenue and Wall Street marketing to distract us from becoming people demanding action? As we are all living longer, why don't we fund Alzheimer's research instead of perpetual war? What we have been is no longer a guarantee, for in one brief shining moment we can lose our destiny if we fail to embrace we are family. Join us. Become one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. Thank you.